Biafra Liberation Army will bring down any Jetta fighter belonging to Nigeria government over the Biafra airspace. Simon Ekwa, PM, Prime Minister, um, Biafra government in exile. Hmm. Hello, my wonderful people. Welcome back to Balabas Gis. If today is the first time you are coming across this wonderful channel, uh, what are you waiting for? You are highly welcome and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow this page for more updates as they happen. Uh, we are dropping the update back to back as they happen. More update full grand though. May you not forget to turn on your notification bell for so that anytime we will upload the video, go be the first person we will get the notification. Very, very important so that you know go they miss our update as they happen. Okay, my people, let's go and look into the Obenge news where we get for hand today. Most often I go they ask which one be this on Bonala waiting for this uh, video. Um, this picture where we they watch for here. Hmm, this one that that's where they tell they shoot down uh, fighter jets and uh, helicopters. Now they see like this. The PM will be Biafra government in SI. Don't verse, provoke. Say Nigeria, Nigeria military, don't too much. And Nigeria Air Force. Uh, like this, you don't go acquire this one. Come showcase them. Say, huh. If they put body, hmm, they go collect. Don't be smart, you know. Okay. Um, may we go ahead, go play the video, may you watch. And then we'll come back. Can't read that so many things behind these videos. Okay, stay tuned and watch the video while we continue. Okay, my wonderful people. So this is not the video. Uh, we'll go, go ahead, go read that some article attached to this video so that you will hear within PM will be Prime Minister Simon Equa talk for this video. He say anytime we say no fly zone over Biafra space we really mean it things have changed okay um now simon if i talk this one um we'll go ahead as well go with that other ones may you stay um here waiting in talk for this particular side okay my wonderful people um let's go ahead and read that more article concerning this particular video um posted by prime minister um simon eba he said, breaking, Biafra Republic government in SI wish to present to the Biafra people the sample look of the Biafra, Biafra Liberation Army, tactical and special force. Anywhere you see them within Biafra land, don't panic. They are the one making sure that terrorists did not take over your land and chase and chest to IDP, IDP camp in Biafra territory. They are also making sure that the Nigeria terrorist army never know peace in Biafra territory. So you go ahead, go to say, make you wait for the day where they go launch and by Biafra Republic government in SI. So um, this article was written by someone Ekwa joined this uh, particular video that you, you are watching like this so this video have no comment made by them it's just showing video so that's why we are reading the article for you to see uh, what follows this video so um, let's go ahead and look the reaction of people two or three people over this particular video he say um this one this person under here say i only smile because what Biafra we have what Biafra will do to the Nigeria government is still coming okay my people <laughs> now so we see I'm also this is the comment of people over this particular video so, okay um, let's go ahead and look other things where Simon Ekwa posted concerning this particular um, video as well so stay tuned as we they bring up the come step by step Okay, let's uh, bring out more details of uh, what Simon Ekwa said today and uh, what is going on right now. Um, he said, breaking the Biafra Liberation Army waited for the terrorists today and they never showed up. Rather, they changed the military head 
Tell Hope Uzodima that he can't win this war. Not in this life. The head should quickly to collect his own, and the one they remove should go and give this money. <laughs> no be smarting, my people. Things are happening, and this is happening uh, right away in Biafra land. And uh, today, there's update from Simon Equa before that uh, that the the Nigeria military are coming to engage and so they are waiting in full force for them to come so the last update will not get now that they are not coming again uh, so i don't know the reason why they choose not to show up i don't know what happened but uh, whatever that happened uh, maybe they don't want to collect as uh, as simon Epo have said in this video so um let's go ahead and look into the next Ogwenge news we will get for hand today stay tuned okay guys remember that uh, there is a video we posted last time concerning a woman that been beaten up by a police they tear that woman mad this policeman um so finally they have arrested those guys uh, this actually that happened in port Harcourt, in, in river state so they say nigeria police the 10 officer caught on a video inflicting uh, injury in on a woman in a in a river state so um that's that was those policemen that beat up that woman um they have arrested all of them so um for this one they did if they can punish these people is very very good so that other zombies in a police uniform we will learn from this particular thing that happened okay uh, we are going to go ahead and read that the next news we will get for hand today no be smart you know we'll go up there for, for, for body they say nigeria police key to kidnappers terrorizing enugu state um loss officials during gun shooting hmm. no no be smart in. they say some uh, some policemen also was died during this gun battle uh, with these guys so guys if you are in any good state please confirm this update are those guys a kidnappers or uh, what is going on here we want to uh, we want to know so update us okay uh, there is information that we got earlier uh, today that uh, that uh, Biafra lost one soldier. Um, so they posted the guy. We are going to show the um, the picture of the guy here. So um, they say that uh, Biafra lost one soldier in a gun battle with uh, Nigeria military. So we are going to update the the, the information here as well and uh, put the picture of the soldier which they have showed in that particular video. Okay, my wonderful people information then you have may you stay tuned they bring a decor one after the other they say nigeria army don't arrest two suspects okay more read them come aside as the data come <laughs> no be smarting nigeria army arrested two suspects recovering boat vehicle conveying stolen clue handed them over to tompolo's team um tantica Hmm, no be smarting. Things are really happening. Um, Nigeria army should take them to police and hand them over to the police, um, not to Tompolo's uh, team. So, hmm, no be smarting. Only way to save Nigeria is to release Mazin Namdekalo, IPOB, the Nigeria government. Hmm, no be smarting. No, um, you know say. We have been shouting and crying to release Mazin and the Kalu. Um, this government feel that they, they, they are, <laughs> they are everything. So um, they should learn of what is happening in the world today. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has said the only way to save Nigeria is to release um, leader Mazin and the Kalu. Um, but uh, Nandekala has been in detention since he was since he was um, extra, 
extradited rendition to Nigeria from Kenya in June 2021. <laughs> uh, IPOB made this known on Sunday in a summit um, released by the media and the political secretary, Emma Powerful. Emma Powerful said that the Nigeria government must obey the appeal court judgment and release the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. Hmm. You know, um, the Nigeria government will not hear this. They think that holding Nandi Kalo is going to bring to an end to this agitation. But when when something have gone to ideology, I don't think you can ever stop it. So the best solution to this that is happening is to release the indigenous people of Biafra leader, which is Mazi Namdekalo, so that everyone will go on his own way because nigeria have nothing to offer to the society so if you still deceiving yourself as calling yourself a nigeria today you have to ask yourself one question what have this country done for you as of, apart from you working your ass every day and work for yourself but do you know that in europe today the school is free the parents only provide books for their student for their children and after they finish school there is a place be keeping for them to work then after they have finished that work they now go and look for the job of their choice if they want to work if they don't want to work as well they can go and look for the job and there is a job opportunity for them to work so but in nigeria today the graduates who have all the degree will not turn to chief has cleaner to somebody who didn't even go to primary school so a time you have to stop deceiving yourself and face the narrative some of you will say this is not justify of bf um, leading to separation of nigeria uh, but the truth of the matter is that things cannot work if you do not agree in your union. So this union is part of some part of people are suspecting others. If they take power, they may they may they may enslave them or they may uh, leave the country. But the answer is not true. Those people have been contributed the law for which is the tribe of Igbos in the whole Nigeria. So as he thinks is going right now, the solution to all this thing that is happening is to um, let them call a round table. Let everybody say at his mind. Thank you so much for watching today, broadcast, and uh, you are highly welcome. And don't forget to follow this page and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for a quick update as we they bring and they come. So guys, what do you think about the video? um that we showed you today concerning the biafra liberation army um if you support what sam and Equa is doing please write in the comment say supported supported i want to see supported if you do not support say no i did not support and give us your reason immediately so i hope the biafra government in exile are seen and they are watching so um see you in the next a wonderful episode of this uh great channel okay thank you so much and uh, see you in the next video